My name's Oliver Cook, I'm a, an IT engineer. When I came into the One Point, I started with no previous IT knowledge. I was literally a, a clean slate, if you like. My name's Jacob, I am the help desk team leader at the One Point, so that's overseeing the help desk as a whole. So I started off as an apprentice. When I started my apprenticeship, I wouldn't have thought that I'd end up being a team leader in such a short space of time. So I'm Alex Reese. My job is a second line support uh, technician here at the One Point. So I did the level three um, infrastructure technician apprenticeship. Like I came from a non-technical background or IT background whatsoever. So last time I did IT was actually in school. So it was like learning everything from scratch. I'm Lucy Thorpe. Um, I am the marketing executive and I'm on the level three digital marketing apprenticeship. I actually went to university and I just didn't get on with it. It wasn't for me, so I took a gap year and thought, I need to do something else. And I saw an apprenticeship come up on Indeed and I just applied for it and it was perfect for me because I was doing it. I, I, as an individual and as an engineer, I've come on leaps and bounds. I go all over the country, anywhere from Scotland right down to South End, uh, doing all different types of jobs. So, Learning theories at a desk or in a classroom is brilliant, but I think you never fully understand how to apply something until you go out there and do it. I mean, I actually come from a university background. I did a degree and a master's degree, so I was quite late into the apprenticeship route. I was like 25 when I did the Baltic apprenticeship. The Baltic eased me into it very easily. It just piqued my interest very in terms of IT. And obviously once I finished my Baltic, then it was only just over a year before I got promoted to second line. So I started my apprenticeship in September with another company and I just didn't really get on there. I had to leave, unfortunately. And so I was off for a month and Baltic were amazing. They constantly contacted me and making sure I was okay. It was a bit of a whirlwind experience moving across, but coming here it's been like completely different. It's so strange how They've just been like, you can do it. If you've got an idea, just go with it and do it. So it's been really good. I think I enjoyed completing my apprenticeship because that then um, it reassured me as a person that I'd developed the necessary skills after like the endpoint assessment um, in order to progress into a full-time role. I went into it with an open mind. I was quite weary of it, whether it be the right um, sort of industry for me to go into, but Baltic definitely reassured me. Nothing was overwhelming. If I had to say anything is trust yourself. Maybe trust is something I struggled with starting off, uh, but once you get beyond that barrier, then um, everything's limitless. I mean, one thing I found about doing an IT apprenticeship is the opportunities and doors it opens for you are endless in all sorts of areas of business. There's always going to be IT opportunities, forever. If you're interested in it, then 100% then do it, especially in the, this day and age, and you know, in a modern, modern IT world, everything we do is, is internet-based, is IT, is networking. You know, in an ever-changing world, I think there's, there's no better time to get into, into the industry, to be honest, than, than now. Mm -hmm.